This is the Land of Killer Show. You'll see that this video is different from my other videos because I have um, decided to invest in this uh, program, Adobe Rush. Now, before when I would edit in uh, in um, OBS, I didn't have the opportunity to really go back and um, apply edits to videos or release footage that didn't have audio. So what happened here is that I am. Um, I lost, uh, my OBS was not detecting my microphone, so this is why I'm recording it here in Adobe Rush. I'm trying to make investments in the YouTube channel, which I think should pay off in the future. And this is one such investment, is getting to know this uh, Adobe Rush program. So, basically this was my, this was my first take at um, um, doing the review for USS, sims right so basically i'm doing my usual go go between for my video here i am going through the stats as you can see obviously i was talking at the time but unfortunately that audio is lost so this is sort of like um a bonus bonus feature if you will for you all because i'm gonna keep trying to experiment with this adobe software and seeing what i can um see what I can learn here you can see I'm going over the stats there inside the game and see that my main idea behind investing in Adobe Rush is I want to improve the quality of my videos or I can just kind of sit back and not talk during the time of rec recording for some of them and others of them just move them into rush add a couple of graphics seeing how you guys like that you know part of being a youtuber is trying to improve your your content whenever you can and that's sort and that's what I'm doing here is I'm trying to improve my my content by investing in Adobe here investing in Adobe I'm I am hoping that the quality of the videos will improve you guys will be able to see more more animations or graphics or whatnot I plan on sticking a couple of graphics in on the videos and just getting things going I mean I've invested in another app for the Temple Run gameplays record go which I've know which I know how to use a little bit but I haven't really used a nice editor for the for my videos on uh, World of Warships, so this is part of my attempt at getting my videos up to snuff, trying to stand out from the competition I got on here. But if I can master the software, you, I'm really, really thinking this could really take the YouTube channel to the next level, you know? So, yeah, I'm in a battle with Sims here. I managed to get two really great battles, but I didn't have the quarters. I didn't have the the battles recorded or whatnot. Well, I had the battles recorded, but I didn't have the opportunity to record a voiceover in OBS. So I'm using Adobe Rush to do this. So you can see here, I'm turning around. I'm trying, sort of trying to look around at the at the battle around me. I'm trying to see what's going on. Really just um, uh, looking around the map. I'm looking through my little mouse. I'm scrolling a bit. Doing my little horn sound here. It probably would have been like, oh, USS Sims is, is such a good ship. It's available for boost activated. for yada yada doubloons. You, you know, I kind of covered more of the technical aspects of Sims in, that, in the review I did before. This, this video I'm mainly using as a test bed to serve as my first attempt at creating a really unique video through Adobe Rush. If I really get good at this, you're gonna see some a huge improvements in the quality of my videos. That's the goal going forward with Adobe Rush is trying to create better content for the channel. That's, that's what I'm hoping here trying to do as much as I can with the skills I got. 
I'm used to doing a little bit of editing in other areas, but yeah. See here, I'm kind of, I'm advancing on the on the targets here. I got a destroyer there that I'm gonna fire at. There I am firing at him. But this this software I hope allows me to take everything to the next level. You know, I don't think I got no 30. I got like a 3070 in my my computer, so I think it's possible to get to up the recording quality in OBS maybe up a little bit. Maybe I can get us up to 1080p at least. I'm sure if I'll be able to do 4K with my graphics card. I think my graphics card might die out on me if I try 4K. I don't know. I don't have the most expensive setup like the other big YouTubers have, you know? Honestly, I'm just trying to create good content for you all and I hope you understand that. My whole approach with the channel is going to be trying to get to that 1,000 subs and seeing where I go from there. Because without getting to 1,000 subs, the whole channel is... I'm basically doing it all for free and I'm not getting anything back on it yet. I want to be able to make a little bit back on, on what I've put into my videos. I spend so much time doing this for you guys. Really appreciate it if you know you'd hit that subscribe button for me and just help this channel out. I am, I am just uh, really grateful for those that do subscribe, and I'm trying to take things to the next level for you all by by putting the by putting these videos together in Adobe Rush instead of just doing it in, let's say, OBS, like. I don't know about you, but I don't see too many people besides Diarmo really using some graphics or using any sort of things in their World of War Search videos. Like, Zoop's got his little intro music, Notzer got the little intro there, but he's really using any graphics or animations in the World of Warships videos, it seems. Chase, Chase really, he does a lot of he does do a lot of that. That's why I think he's a little ahead of the pack with the subscribers. I know Mighty Jingles is at number one. But you see Mighty Jingles just does his little... He does his little thing on his channel. I mean, he, he edits well. I'll give him that. He does a lot of editing on his channel, and he does put in graphics sometimes. But I may mean to get my content up to the next level. So if you could really just help me out, you know, by subscribing when you can, I can really just take things to the next level and I can really continue to improve on the content. Because I'm making the investment of at least $15 a month with the editing software between, between the Record Go on the mobile phone and Adobe Rush on my computer here so I'm making that investment in the channel and that's not even counting what I spend usually in roll the warships you know I say in roll the warships my spend is at least probably maybe 300 to 400 a month on on average but I'm gonna I'm really get us gonna try to cover what you guys want me to cover what I feel is important. I'm not going to be getting every premium ship that's a clone, like the black ships. I may open up a couple of containers of them, but I'm not going to sit there and go uber baller and spend 200 bucks on those, because that'd be a waste. But I'm hoping by taking time to go back through the, the videos a bit and edit them a little more, that you guys will appreciate it. Rather than me just doing the whole 3D text and 3D paint and recording and not adding anything else extra into the video. I really just want to try to take my videos to the next level, so I hope you'll all enjoy join me on that. I wish I was able to save the audio for the Sims recording, but you can kind of see I got a good battle going in the background there with the whole video. In the future, I'm hoping to just, um, 
edit up, edit the videos more so that destroy your founder. I have some transitions going on and some other fancy things. Just enough to make it look more professional, I guess, is sort of my thing. I'm probably going to try to edit out this video, maybe experiment with a couple of graphics, maybe a couple of, of um, audio sound effects if I can find them on here. Overall, this is my, this is a test bed or a prototype, if you will, of what I'm looking to do with the channel going forward. Keep in mind that with me taking additional time on this aspect of things, the amount of videos I put out may go down a little bit. Because I'm going to focus on publishing more polished works rather than my usual... Let's just say I'm going to shoot for at least three videos of Roller Warships per week while I'm adjusting to this different software. We'll go from there because I want to take the extra time just to edit things out more, just so everything is clear and concise, and so that you guys are having a more engaging experience with the video. I don't think we'll ever sit there and get to the level of Mr. Beast, but I would have to have like tons of years on YouTube before I got to his level. I think ideally what my goal is for this year is to get to the 1,000 subs. I want to hit that. And I want to get, I want to build up a good community here of positivity. At the same time, hold Wargaming accountable when they do something stupid. And just overall try to have a good time with, with creating content on the YouTube platform. I'm going to stay away from raging as much as I can. I got a little heated in my super ships video because it was just totally totally like crap if you know what I mean. But Our victory is inside. this really opens up the realm of possibilities for what I can do in the future by having the software. So I'm gonna take advantage of it to its full ability and I'm gonna try to create some good content from here on out. I'm gonna try to up my game a bit. Because you guys deserve it. You guys have given me a lot of subs on this channel already. We're at 120 for subs, and I can't be more happy to see that, you know? And overall, you can just expect me to be putting in an extra ounce of effort in these videos going forward. I may put a few more graphic effects on the video. We'll see. Overall, I just really appreciate the time that people take to watch my videos. I just encourage you to just take time out of your day to like, share, and subscribe the video because it means a lot for the channel. And it only takes you five seconds to do that. And it really shows support and you get notified about the future uploads or when I go live for a live stream of World of Warships or another game. Overall, I find that um, our, our journey with YouTube is just beginning all of us. And I hope you stick around and enjoy my content because I'm looking forward to just taking things up to the next level. That's my goal going forward is just to keep on improving Engine my YouTube reactive. channel just like Mr. Beast does with his. Cause I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little jealous of how fast he's grown in the same amount of time. So I'm gonna see I'm gonna see where this goes. Remember it's just me doing the videos. I don't have no fancy editing staff like Mr. Beast, so bear with me as I adjust to the software and I get used to it. So bear with me and as always just like, watch, share, and subscribe, and I appreciate all your support as always. Thank you for your continued support of my YouTube channel. Have a nice day. Please just remember to like, watch, share, and subscribe. Thank you.